How do we get a complex shape like this to conform to the shape it's snapping to and be able to move it around and still have it conform to that curve or surface? So I'm in Blender 4.1. I've got my screencast keys showing down the bottom here, and I've got this relatively complex and detailed object that I want to conform to this sphere underneath it. If I select the object, you might be thinking that I can use a shrink wrap. Well, if I go to the modifiers, add modifier and start typing in shrink, that's under the deform and select shrink wrap, choose my target of the sphere. It all squashes down the whole object, which is obviously problematic. I'll just hide that result for the moment in the viewport. What you might be thinking is something like maybe a vertex group. If I go into edit mode for my object, go to front view, zoom in a bit, go to wireframe mode and select the bottom vertices. I can then add them to a vertex group and you can find that in the object data properties just here. I can add a new vertex group. I'll call this sticky. So those are the only vertices that are sticking. Assign those vertices to that group and then go back to the modifier and under vertex groups, I can choose my vertex group of sticky. And then let's reshow the modifier and the effects. I'll come back to solid view so you can see that and out of edit mode. And it's only sticking those vertices, which might be useful, but I want to conform the whole top as well. So let's get rid of the shrink wrap. What we need to do instead is use a lattice to do the shrink wrapping for us. I'll show you what that means. With my object selected, I'll press shift S, cursor to selected. So my 3D cursor's in the middle of my shape. Shift A to add, and we'll come down to lattice. And you can see the lattice is just this cube object. I'll go to top view to start with, with seven on my numpad, and scale it up so it surrounds my shape. Don't worry about the height just for the moment. If I go to the lattice object data properties, you can see the different resolutions here. It's a little bit confusing because it's using the UVW instead of XYZ, but the W is kind of the height or the local Z. We can turn that down to one and that makes it completely flat. For the others, we need to give it some resolution because we need that resolution to conform to the shape. So I'll turn that up to something like six in the V and six in the U. If I go to front view, just make sure it's right at the bottom of your object. You might want a tiny bit of overlap so that the object indents. And then we want to parent this object to the lattice. So I'll select my Griebel object first, then the lattice last. So that's the active object and that's what we're parenting to. And then control P is parent. You can also find that under the object menu and then parent just here. And in that menu, you will see lattice deform. So I'll select that. Now, if I select my lattice and go to edit mode, I can now select some vertices, press G to grab, and you can see the shape is conforming to that lattice. So the last thing for me to do then, back to object mode, to my modifiers, add modifier, and then shrink for shrink wrap. And the target object is the sphere. So when I move the lattice around, my Griebel object is conforming to the curve of the sphere. Now, the one thing you might want to do is turn on snapping, make sure it's to the center and you are aligning the rotation of your object to the target, and then we can press G to grab and move it around like so. And that's how we can take the complex objects and conform them to curves or spheres and so on. If you've got any questions, do comment below. If you like what I do, then do check out my more detailed courses, discount codes in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.